What's going on everyone? Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and on today's video we're going to dive into this particular Instagram quote on my account which is disconnection is avoidance, disassociation is ownership. When I speak to a lot of clients initially, we, I, one of the things that I'll ask is when a negative feeling comes up or when a unhealthy feeling or something you don't want to associate with, when that shows up, do you go to a space of avoidance? Do you push it aside, pretend like it doesn't exist? Now, maybe that's a case of the emotional experience that comes up because a bill just came through and you don't have the cash for it. Or maybe it's something to do with somebody saying something and there's an experience that's going on that you're feeling like you're not good enough, you're not worthy, you're not whatever it might be. You know, and that, that belief comes up or somebody else projects something onto you. In that moment, are you disassociating from it or are you disconnecting from it? Because when you disconnect from it, that's that avoidance thing. That's that, whew, I don't wanna have a look at that. That, whew, under the rug, that does not exist. You know, it's not wanting to acknowledge some of the stuff that's going on for, me, for yourself. And maybe there's some guilt, shame, blame, or anything like that which is flowing around for it. Maybe it's something from childhood, maybe it's something from adulthood, past relationship trauma, whatever it might be. But do you go into that space of disconnecting and avoiding? Because that, when I ask that question to many of the women that I, that I work with, and many that I haven't worked with, but have had initial conversations with, and I ask them, when something shows up, what is your strategy? And almost 90% of the time, it's, uh, I'll watch some YouTube videos, I'll put on Netflix, I'll uh, go to the gym, I'll do something else to try and not have it there. And I think where this comes from is the fact that the context and concept in personal development that says negative thoughts are bad, therefore don't ever think about the negative because if you, what you think about, you bring about and all of this side of things, I think scares a lot of people to actually acknowledge this darker thought, this negative thought, this bad thought, whatever you want to label and title it as. When you push it under the rug, you think that you're in control of it. You think that's when you've got the power on it. But no, when you disconnect and you avoid it, that thought, feeling, memory, event, whatever it is, has the power over you. How many times have you stuffed that back down? How many times that exact same thought, belief, or whatever it is, has popped back up and you're like, get back down there. How many times are you gonna continue to do that? And I can hear you, yeah, but Brett, I don't know what else to do. And I get it, I understand. And we're gonna have a chat about that in a moment. Because when you avoid it and you disconnect from it, you're not just disconnecting from that memory, you're disconnecting from yourself, from the others around you, family, children, partners, everybody. You disconnect from life. And then how long does it take you to be able to work through that so you can reconnect to life? Let me know in the comments, how long does it take you to reconnect with your life? For some, maybe it's an afternoon, if it's nothing too major. For others, maybe it's a week, maybe it's a couple of days, a week, a month, you know. For some, it might even be years, depending on how traumatic that actual event is. Now, not trying to take any significance out of any of the events that may have taken place in your life. But does this really serve you? Because are you attached to the story of the event that took place because you are getting some unconscious benefit out of it? You're getting that love and attention and connection that your wounded inner child is screaming out for? And if you haven't watched my other video about the wounded inner child running your life, then I'll put it up wherever it goes. And you'll be able to go and check that one out. But what is it the benefit that you're getting out of this? And are you ready to let that go? Are you ready to take back your power and step into your true self? Let me get into the definition. So when you disconnect, disconnecting is all around completely breaking ties. You know. There is nothing between me and the event. Numbness. That's all it's there, numb. But when you disassociate, you're going, I see that there. 
I acknowledge that there, but I am not it. And when you are able to step into that space of disassociation from the stories, the events, the emotional experience, whatever it is that's going on for you in that moment, you then get to look at it and have compassion, love, appreciation, and learn the lessons that are, that are there for you to learn. And when you can do this, you start healing all of that past, all of that story. You start to reconnect to yourself and you start to reconnect to others in a much, much healthier way. Because when you do that, when you go, oh, I see you. I see the stories. I see that. I see that my child is in play and running the show or I see whatever it might be. Then you're able to take back your power on it. You know where it's coming from. That story no longer has any power over you because you know it, you understand it, you have that compassion and you've been able to heal it and work through it. I digress, but it comes back to the context of feel the fear and do it anyway. I think is the worst sentence that you can even say. Because when you feel the fear and do it anyway, what that is in implying is disconnection. And disconnection is only going to create more trauma in the moment because all of a sudden you're forcing yourself to go and do something that the body is just like, I need to now defend myself. And this experience is going to get energetically trapped within you versus acknowledge the fear, understanding where it's coming from, have the compassion, do the work within there, know that you're safe, trust yourself, have the ability to be able to do it, then go and go and take on the task. That is going to have you in much more of an empowered space than this whole idea of feel the fear and do it anyway and disconnect and pretend it doesn't exist. You know, that itself is just a terrible, terrible idea. So where are you at? What is your strategy when a bad, unhealthy, negative thought comes into mind? Are you in this space where you'll disconnect? You'll go to avoidance. You'll pretend like it doesn't exist. You'll distract yourself and all that side of things. Or will you disassociate and you'll acknowledge it and you understand where that story is coming back from? You know, what is going on? What are you making that mean? That word that somebody said or the way that that person said it. What are you making that mean? Are you taking ownership for everything that is showing up in your life? Or are you saying everything happens to me and I cannot control my life whatsoever and just got this bitterness about you and a numbness and a disconnection to the world around you. And when you are in that space of disconnection and of, and of avoidance and everything like that, you're not going to get good things. Why would it show up? You're energetically cut off and shut down. Good things are not going to show up to you. It's like when you're in a room and you sense somebody walking in, whether that's something that that's got going on for themselves, maybe they're just having a bad day, whatever it is, you know yourself. I have no doubts that you've had this experience where somebody has walked into a room and you're like, I'm not really sure what it is about that person. But something's not right. It's just something. You don't want to go near them because there's this sense, your intuition, your energetic field is saying, uh, I'm not sure. I don't get a good vibe from this person. So when you're in this disconnected state, that's exactly what the world and the universe is doing for you. It's going, uh, I don't really want it. Yeah, they're saying it. They're saying the words. They're sitting there and praying and they're sitting there and meditating and, you know, law of attraction, the secret says, just sit here and visualize, blah, 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 blah. But they're so disconnected. You haven't done the healing work. When you go through that healing work, then you can sit in that space of disassociation where you are powerful. You understand your stories. You're taking ownership for everything. You're working through it in a very effective, connected way. That is when your life will start to shift. If you're needing any support to move from a disconnection type response to a disassociation response and get your power back, I'll put a link down to the Life With Options website down below so you can go and check out some of the programs, see what works for you, and I'll see you on the inside of that, if that's something that you're ready to do and are choosing to do. And don't worry, don't worry about the whole context of everything that's going on, I'll be the hardest client. Just if you're committed to show up, if you're committed to do the work, then I will support you through it. There's no problem with that. On that basis, Share this video with anybody that you feel may resonate with it. Somebody who's going through a space of their time in life at the moment that they are completely disconnected. That maybe things haven't worked out for them and they are just lost within that stuff. This will start to give them a bit more of a shining light to know where they are at so they can take stock on what's going on for themselves 
and start having access to something new. And on that, if you got any value out of this one, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. <laughs> this one's gonna be a good one. All right, Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net. Hope you're having a fantastic day, night, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, wherever you are. So, this one. Disconnection is avoidance. Disassociation is ownership. So if you don't know what I'm doing in these, I'm going through my Instagram account, Life With Options, and going through some of these quote posts that I've created here so that I can give you some video validation. Well, that part's getting taken out of it.